Hi, I'm Nick Chickis from Alto Sham, the corporate chef. And today I will be showing you how to make shrimp with feta a little bit faster way, but still with the traditional flavors. The recipe, what it is, is olive oil, onions, sliced onions and garlic, of course the shrimp, feta cheese, which I put a little bit of oregano in it, and puree some fresh tomatoes, and a little bit of lemon juice for the final touch. And of course, let's don't forget it, the ouzo. As you know, traditionally this dish is made in a stove top. We're gonna make it in the Combi Tats Alto Sham oven entirely. We're gonna start with putting the oil, about a half a cup of olive oil, Greek olive oil, and we're gonna heat it first so we can saute our vegetables. Okay, we preheat the olive oil. It took us just a minute. You can hear even the crackling. The only thing I have to do now, I add my onions and garlic and put them back in there for just one more minute. I'm cooking everything on 375 degrees combination. One minute will be enough to accomplish what we want with the onions and the garlic. Okay, our minute is done. We're pulling our vegetables. Oh, listen to them. Nice and beautiful. Beautiful. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add shrimp. Right here I got about two and a half pounds shrimp. Three tomatoes which I puree. I put it right over to the whole dish. Of course, nicely fresh black pepper. And very important, sea salt. Just a little bit to give some of the flavor. One quick stir up. Get all my flavors together. And now, almost to the final stage before we do the most fun. For about no more than three minutes cooking, and we should be pretty much done. Okay, the so two minutes they are done, and you'll see what I'm talking. My shrimp, very nice and beautiful. Now, we have in the fun. My nice uzo, I put it over. I can even light it up, like the traditional way. And, to do it more, nice lemon. Squeeze very nicely lemon juice. Then we take in the feta cheese and we crumble it all over. See, I don't use a knife. Crumble by hands. I use gloves. And now, I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about three more minutes, heat up the feta, and then we have a very, very nice Greek dish. But it took me no more than seven and a half minutes instead of the traditional way, which is gonna take over 30 minutes. Hoppa! There is the dish. There is that dish. Remember, very fast, very simple. We made it in seven and a half minutes. A little bit garnishing, and like everybody says, bon appetit, or like we say in Greece, kaliorexi.